welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today are a couple of dupes. Now these are dupes of my two favorite products. Well, two of my favorite beauty products. And as you probably know, I am very careful about labeling things dupes because I feel like they have to be sort of exact to be a duplicate of it, of the product. So I don't like to label things as dupes very often. But for this one nail polish dupe, it is exact in every way, shape, and form. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they came actually from the same manufacturer or were made in the same location. So the first thing is Essie's Shine of the Times. Now you guys probably remember this. It's from their Lux Effects line and it came out a little a little while ago. It was limited edition and I fell in love with this. I love how it looks. I love how it goes over all kinds of different colors and just makes a totally beautiful different effect on each color. And as you know, these run at $8.50. $8 um, well, I went to a store called Five Below where everything in the store is $5 or less. And they have a, a nail polish line called Fresh Paint and I found this polish called Sugar Crush. This is the exact same thing as Shine of the Times. It is the same in every way, shape, and form. It looks the same in the bottle. It looks the same on. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of different swatches for you on my nails. I'll do close-ups of those on different colors so you can just see how exact these two are. And this polish goes for $2. So what a great deal that you can get this for so much less. The next um, product is... Max Candy Yum Yum. You know, we all love this color, but maybe you don't want to spend the $15 on this product. So, what to do? Now, everyone says that the best dupe for this is Milani's Rose Hip. Now, I do have that, but I have to tell you, I don't necessarily agree with it being a dupe just because I feel like it's much darker than. Candy Yum Yum, and I don't reach for it actually when I'm in the mood to wear Candy Yum Yum and it's not around, I can't find it. I wear it as its own color. I think it's a beautiful color in itself, rose hip, but I don't think of it as Candy Yum Yum. So I'm going to do some swatches um, of rose hip as well as Max Candy Yum Yum. But the product that I found that is the closest so far to me is Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in showy. This is the closest thing I've found. And of course I love these anyway. I love the lacquer balms. I love the matte balms. They're all so nice and creamy. I really like them. So I'm going to be doing some swatches of all these products for you. So just keep watching. Okay, so for these swatches, don't mind my little boo-boo. I had a little a bit of an accident. And then these are my midi rings that I just made and I've been thinking about doing a tutorial for them. If you want to see that, um, please let me know in the comment section. But as for the Essie Shine of the Times, here are what they look like on each different color. Now this was over just a light, light purple. And this one is the Sugar Crush. Here's the Shine of the Times. As you can see, they look exactly the same. Next is, um, this is over the Laces On by Essie. Here's the Essie. Here's the Sugar Crush. And the same with all of the rest of the nail colors. You can see how it looks exactly the same. And then my personal favorite is putting it over black. So I just colored my nails black, and then here's the Essie, and here's the Shine, or er, here's the Essie Shine of the Times, and then here's the Sugar Crush from Five Below. And as you can see, even the iridescence is exactly the same. Okay, so now for the swatches of the MAC Candy Yum Yum. I've put the Candy Yum Yum right in the center, so there it is. This is the Milani Rose Hip. As you can see, it's slightly darker. And then this is the Revlon Color Burst in Showy. It's just a little bit more similar um, to the Candy Yum Yum than the Milani Rose Hip. So there are those swatches for you. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you and if you find any other 
dupes that are actually dupes they are just so close to the product, please let me know in the comment section below because I would love to know. And if you do want to see the DIY on the mini rings, please let me know that as well. I would be happy to do that. But as always, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye!